Okay, literally as I'm filming this video, I just had somebody buy, I think that's two or three beats come in, if you can see this. Uh, yeah, literally had someone just go ahead and buy three beats for my website, like the moment that I press record on this video. So last year I posted a video on here talking about how I sold 500 beats in only six months. And I wanted to make sort of like a follow-up video to that one. Uh, just talking about things I'm doing this year that has helped me sell more than 500 beats in six months. Like there's things I'm still doing that I talked about in that video that are working. Um, but there's other things that I've started doing this year that's helped me sell more beats than last year so far. If I pull my beat star stats here, if you can see this, it's a little bit later than uh, six months. It's just the beginning of July. And so far I've sold 539 beats through BeatStars. I've sold almost another 200 beats through like Instagram and PayPal and email. So even at the beginning of July, like just after six months in this year, I've sold over 700 beats or roughly 700 beats. Uh, when this time last year, I sold about 500 beats. So uh, if you guys haven't seen the video that I posted last year, um, I recommend watching it because I, I go into detail some specific things. I'll drop the video link uh, in the description if you wanna catch up on it. But basically, uh, some things that I talked about in that video uh, are things I'm still doing today. For example, one thing that helped me get a lot of sales last year and this year was paying close attention to what was working. And if I had a beat that was selling well or getting more views, I would recreate that beat, try and duplicate that success. You know, For example, if I had one beat uh, that was selling really well on YouTube, I would make another beat with you know the same feel, the same drums, kind of similar chord progressions, and basically try and you know recreate that success. And that's something I'm still doing this year, but I'm kind of taking it a step further and I'm paying even closer attention to any analytics I have for my beats. I also wanna just go off that and say that I've been getting like super, super niche with my audience. I mean, if anyone follows me and has followed me for a while, will probably know that I'm kind of a diverse producer. Like I make pop beats, I make, indie rock beats, I do like electronic stuff and also hip hop and trap. Like I just love making so many genres. I really just wanna make like everything. But I also kinda see the value in niching down uh, to specific artist types. And that's something I've been doing a lot more this year. You know, even last year I was kind of getting into it. This year, you know, I've been using my analytics and paying closer attention to the beats that were working. And I've been, you know, really, really focusing in on these. In fact, I even made a separate YouTube channel recently devoted to a very specific genre and type of music. And I'm only a couple months into posting on this channel. And I've already seen a lot of success through beat sales views and subscribers it's been really good to you know niche down like that in the video i posted last year i also talked about doing sales on my beats which is something i'm still doing this year and i just wanted to talk about that because i feel like this is so important but whenever i'm doing like bulk deals on beats i'll always discount up and what i mean by that is on my website i have a buy two get one free deal you know i see producers sometimes do you know buy one get three free or buy one get x amount free which I don't know, I've always kind of thought the other way. I've always thought like if somebody wants to get more like value and more benefits and more reward, they have to spend a little bit more. So if somebody wants a free beat, they have to buy a little bit more. Uh, and that's something that has definitely still helped contribute to a lot of beat sales this year and last year. And that's why even when I, I posted uh, at the beginning of this video, how I sold a beat as soon as I turned on the camera, that was someone who bought two beats and got one free from my website. So that was a, you know, a customer who was encouraged to spend a little bit more to get a little bit more from that. Probably the biggest change from last year to this year that's helped me sell more beats is just grinding a lot harder. And I don't like want to be one of those people who just say it's all like hard work and grinding and, you know, some type of motivational bro like that. Uh, but I've really been, you know, putting out a lot more beats, a lot more content. I've I looked back and I saw how many beats I posted last year to this year. I've posted more beats this year than I have last year. And I've also posted more stuff on YouTube. I've posted more stuff on Instagram, um, on all platforms, really. I've just been staying super, super consistent with it and just, you know, really grinding and putting out as many beats as possible. I'm really trying to find the line between uh, quality and quantity. And I know like some people are gonna think like, you know, okay, you're making music, you have to post quality stuff but there's a lot of competition. I think there's a lot more competition now than ever before. And I do kind of see, you know, the, the benefits to 
focusing a little bit on the quantity side of things. And that discussion might be a whole separate video on itself, but I just see a lot of value in posting beats as often as you can. Like they still have to be quality. You know, if I'm, I'm not just posting beats for the sake of posting, but I'm really, really trying to push myself to post just content more uh, consistently and more often than I ever have before. Yeah, there's a lot more competition than previous. And I also think that there's a lot more like opportunities right now for those content creators and musicians or whoever who are posting more content. Like for example, Instagram Reels. And uh, this is something that I've been focusing a lot on for the past like two years. Um, Instagram Reels has been really good to me for beat sales. Like Instagram Reels is still, I think a relatively new platform. And I think that Instagram is still rewarding those creators who are posting, you know, consistently on the platform. It's kind of like when TikTok started, how when it was like a brand new platform, all these people blew up uh, by posting on TikTok. I feel like Instagram Reels right now is still kind of the same thing. And I've been having so much success through Instagram Reels, um, posting content about my beats posting like, you know, videos and breakdowns and how I make them. I've gotten a ton more followers than last year. And even this past week, I've been having days where I'm getting hundreds of followers each day. So all this content that I'm posting, all this new stuff and taking advantage of these new platforms on these social media networks, all this stuff is leading to, you know, more eyes on my beats, more fans, more followers, more plays. Obviously, you know, the more people seeing my beats and the more attention it's getting, a portion of that is going to funnel into my website and buy my beats that way. If you guys are interested in seeing exactly how I make my reels and plan my content strategy for Instagram and how I like doubled my Instagram followers in like only a year, it's absolutely crazy. But I put together a course for producers that you guys can check out. I will leave a link in the description. I really recommend it because I really think it's a big opportunity right now for any content creator or any musician trying to get more attention to their beats or whatever they're making. I also think just going back to the like whole like grinding harder, you know, posting more beats. One thing I've really been trying to do is kind of step up my customer service and communications and relationship with my buyers a lot more. And it's something that's helped uh, me sell more beats. Like for example, I, I do produce a handful of custom beats for artists every month. Sometimes it would take me a couple weeks, you know, just to, to make a beat and to send it back to them. And I found the process I was doing was kind of slow. This year I've really tried to like put an emphasis on getting like really fast customer service. So for example, if someone wants like a mix and mastering order or a custom beat you know I'll, I'll work really hard to get them updates like within one or two days like i'm really trying to speed up the process and i found that by doing this uh it's helped me even get more like orders for custom beats and more mixing and mastering orders like for example i've had a few times recently where an artist has messaged me for a custom beat and you know if we knock out that whole beat in less than a week i feel like they're more likely to keep working with me and you know, they're excited about what they have. Like we have this momentum going. So I've had a few times where people have bought more custom beats just because the workflow is a lot like more, uh, it's a lot quicker, it's a lot more efficient. Like I'm getting things done quicker. So I guess like kind of everything boils down to <laughs> as cheesy as it sounds and hopefully this like makes some sense but it's just been working like I've been working a lot harder this year than last year. Like I, I've been, you know, super motivated um, I've been like grinding really, really hard. I I'm, you know, trying not to get like uh, burnt out and I I'm still feeling good about what I'm doing, but I definitely have this year. I feel like I have more of like a laser focus than I had in previous years, which I think has helped me a lot. You know, one thing throughout my entire production career that I've always done and it's like a saying, like you throw a bunch of stuff at the wall and see what sticks. And for so many years as a producer, I was just throwing stuff at the wall, not even paying attention to what stuck. Like I was making beats. I was having fun with it, which I think that there are still like, you know, benefits to that. Uh, but for the longest time, I was just posting stuff uh, not really like caring, you know, not paying a, like close attention or, or really like even thinking about it. I was just posting beats and hoping they would sell well. In the past like two years, I've kind of changed my, my focus a little bit and I've been trying to pay attention to what sticks and anything that's been sticking, uh, that's a sign of success. And I've been really trying to recreate that success like in any way possible. So that's one thing that, you know, I think has helped me sell more beats this year than last year. And I think it's going to be a reason why this year is 
hopefully going to be my best year ever for selling beats. If you guys have any other tips about how you're selling beats or any questions or comments, I would love to hear them. Uh, feel free to drop a comment below on this video. I'm going to reply to every single one or at least try my best to reply to them as quickly as possible. So, you know, let's have a conversation about this. Let's help out, you know, anyone who's trying to sell beats. And, uh, you know, the year's only half over. So if you haven't sold as many beats as you would have liked to this year, there's still, you know, a whole bunch of time left in this year. So wishing you guys all the best on your beat selling journey. I will see you in the next video. Peace.